Hello everybody to the Lakeside Audio YouTube channel. Today I want to show you how to use drag and drop with GrooveStar 3.0 or advanced step synthesizer. As you know, you can drag and drop audio files and MIDI files into GrooveStar. So I have an audio event in this um, project here. I'm using Cubase 8.5 and now I can simply take this event and put it into this sample view window. So just drag and drop it into this window. So within GrooveStar I can listen to the sample by right clicking the mouse within this field. Okay, and uh, I have this um, audio file on slot number one. So let's just uh, put a pattern on slot number one. I'm using a uh, yeah, straight note all along the steps. So let's listen to this one. So you hear the sound. And now with GrooveStar 3.0, you can activate the keep length function. So when I pitch um, the individual steps, the length will be constant. So um, I can, can add some beat here and it will uh, not change the length of the whole sample within here. So let's just listen to this one. Okay. So maybe let's skip some steps. Or this one. Okay. Maybe tune it a little bit. Okay. So just for you to show what you can do with the yeah sample importer and how you can change um, the, the sample when it is played along several steps. So it's really cool. You can change the pitch of each step and the sample won't change its length. So it is uh, played along all the steps. And uh, well, you have to, to enable the Ligato function, of course. Um, um, otherwise, the sample will be started at the beginning at each new step. So I'm just using the Ligato um, function all along the um, yeah, bar. So let's have a look um, at some effects. So um, yeah, we make it a little bit nicer and put some effects on this sample loop. Maybe we tune it a little bit down. Yeah, do some changes. Yeah, it's just an example. So, um, yeah, let's go on with the MIDI import function. You can grab a MIDI event out of your digital audio workstation and you can move it within here. So now we have uh, some MIDI notes on slot number two. I will put slot number two on the same note as slot number one. And um, yeah, I will choose some other sounds. So let's take some kind of uh, bass sound, maybe. Um, choosing this one here. And well, now I have an additional uh, slot playing a bass line. And yeah, let's listen to it together. Yeah, I have to tune it. Yeah, give it a bit, a bit louder. And add some reverb to the bass. Yeah, make the vocals a little bit louder. So as you can see, you easily can import a MIDI file into GrooveStar, and I also can yeah add some uh, yeah bass drum maybe. Let's take slot number three, and just to complete our little example here. I'm going into the bass drums and yeah, let's add some bass drum. I think I have a nice one here. Uh, yeah, I think it's this one. 
So I'm adding a bass drum. So repeat pattern and listen to this one. Press it a little bit. So I can modify the vocals a little bit again. So as you know, you can also play the sample in reverse. So let's uh, try this. So you see it's uh, really unlimited uh, functionality within Groove Store. So tune it a little bit up again. Yeah, I think it's really nice. So try it yourself. Um, just um, yeah. uh, go into a digital audio workstation, um, grab an audio event or a media event, move it into Groove Star, and yeah, I think it's a really nice experience. So yeah, have much fun with Groove Star. Don't hesitate to contact us if you have any questions. So visit um, lakeside-audio.de and yeah, have a nice day. Bye.